Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi on this sunny afternoon. I'm Mark and I'm going to take you for a tour around our 2011 Mitsubishi Challenger five seat wagon. Starting at the front of the car, notice all the beautiful chrome running through the grille, uh, virtually unmarked across the bonnet. A couple of minor cosmetic little, little touches here and there. As we move around to the side of the car, a couple of minor little marks on the wheel arch, which uh, they'll probably polish out. Alloy wheels, standard from factory. We've got our side steps as well. As we scan down the Juco along the driver's side of the car, do you notice for it, they're pretty much uh, coming up to a three-year-old motor car. Um, you know, a couple of minor cosmetic marks, but in really good condition, the Juco. As we scan around to the tailgate, you do notice that it is fitted with the uh, tow pack, genuine Mitsubishi tow pack. Uh, also, do you note it does have the Anderson plug fitted as well. Um, once again, look at the rear bar. A few minor little scuff marks on the black plastic just from uh, storage coming in and out of the car, but overall uh, presents in really good order. As does the uh, passenger side as we scan down this other side of the car now. It's really important to note that the alloy wheels on the car are unscuffed. Um, generally, you know, you'd usually see some markings on the alloy wheels on the passenger side of the car, but uh, no gutter rash at all in really good order. So. From an overall point of view, the exterior of this car presents in really good order for a 2011 model, uh, re a really fine example. So moving around under the bonnet of the Challenger now, just simple flick of the little uh, lever there just to uh, disengage the lock, pop our rod up into position. Plenty of room as you can see in the engine bay. Now the Challenger is powered by a two and a half litre high powered turbo diesel motor. So it's going to deliver you 131 kilowatts of power, 350 newton metres of torque. Uh, at the same time, it's going to give you a combined fuel economy of 9.8 litres per 100 k's. So in expect to get, in expect, let's try again with that, expect to get over 700 kilometres to a tank of fuel. That's really economical motoring, but you've got the power and the torque there as well. So moving back around to the tailgate now, we'll just simply release the handle there gas struts take it all the way up out of our way. You notice a massive storage area in the back of the Challenger, really good vehicle, uh, the perfect camping car. You know, you've got plenty of room. You also notice it's a couple of things, spare wheels stored underneath the car, simple matter of just releasing that little cover plate. And then we just get our, uh, our tire lever just to lower the spare down out, out of uh, its storage area in the event that you do get a flat now also you'll notice looking in from the rear of the car, I'll just move around to the uh, driver's rear door. Uh, the two middle row seats do release and fold all the way up out of the way. Once again, just to increase your storage area if required. They do have little uh, Velcro straps here um, that you just use to tether the actual seat into a, a solid position so it's not flopping around and uh, hitting anything that you may have stored in here. Um, for me to just pop it back into position, really simple matter of just locking it and then we just release the back of the seat. Also notice in the challenges, you see the position of that back of the seat, we have multiple positions we can actually put these seats. So if you're on a long trip, somebody wants to have a good snooze, um, they can lay right back and uh, yeah, as long as they don't snore. So now we're in the uh, interior of the Challenger and we'll run through a few of the features of the car. We'll start on the driver's armrest. You notice a nice satin silver finish running along the armrest with all our power window switches. And just up in front of that, we've got all our exterior power mirror switches and buttons as well. Um, manual button to turn traction control off. And move to the steering wheel now. It is height adjustable, the steering wheel, so I've got that in the uh, disengaged position. We just pull that lever up and lock it into place. Have all of our cruise control buttons on our right hand side of our leather wrapped steering wheel. Obviously our wipers and indicators as standard uh, indicators on the right wipers to the left. And we move into the centre section of the console. Uh, we've got our little uh, onboard computer here giving us, feeding us the information we need. Outside temperature, elevation, barometer, also um, does give you uh, fuel consumption feed out, fuel economy, the car's just been sitting on the yard, distance to empty, so feeds you all your information you need there. Our heating and cooling buttons and controls, um, just all in the centre section here. 
Really set up nice and plain and simple, this car. Um, we've got our CD player, MP3 compatible. You do also notice an auxiliary cord just down on our left hand side here. So plug that straight into your phone, hit your auxiliary in your stereo unit and away you go, play your own music. Also important to note, it is fitted with electric brakes. So uh, if you're contemplating towing, it's gonna do everything you want it to do. We'll move into the centre, just uh, our, our T-Bar Auto. Uh, in drive or if we want to select um, and move the, through the gears via the stick we can do that as well. Just pop it back into park there, our handbrake is standard just back behind. Um, there is, a, this is basically just an aftermarket product, a, an ashtray which hasn't been used which is a good thing. Use it to store your coins, a lot more effective. Also whilst we're in the interior, have a good scan, we'll just have a scan around all the seats, even, even the uh, door trims and everything. You look at the condition of this car on, on the inside, um, you know, for a car that's uh, 2011, 58,000 Ks, the way it's been maintained so far in its life's outstanding. Um, it's really a credit to the previous owner, actually. And speaking of that uh, previous owner, local to us, just in uh, Beaconsfield, this car was originally sold by us as well. So all of the servicing's been done here at our service department. So we can rest assured and be confident that we know the car's had the exact Mitsubishi required services so far in its life. Uh, the current intermediate service has also been carried out. And really important to note as well, uh, new car warranty. We've got balance of new car warranty till the 17th of November 2016 or 130,000 Ks. So you're actually looking at purchasing a car that is gonna give you a stack of peace of mind. Um, yeah, a lot to like about this car actually. So just in summary, a few really important points to make note of. Balance of new car warranty. It's only done 58,000 Ks. Um, new car warranty 2016, 9.8 litres per 100 Ks in excess of 700 kilometres to a tank of diesel. Um, you saw the storage room, condition of the car inside and out, really well looked after. I hope this gives you a really good idea of the quality of our car. If you've got any further questions, feel free to jump on the phone, 9907 555. Thanks.